Thanks, yes, Concorla. Um, with somewhere now close to 40,000 in the traveller community, this grouping is a significant indigenous ethnic group. Since 1996, the sector has grown by 185%. So the trajectory is upwards, certainly more than the general population. There are highs and lows in growth, with, for example, an increase of over the last 20 years in Limerick has been 250%. The majority live in rented accommodation from private to local authority housing stock, with 12% in either a caravan or a mobile home. The goal should be to have no person live in either in a caravan or a mobile home. With 5% in roadside units, this is of huge concern both to themselves and to the road users. Do we need a, a statutory agency for traveller accommodation implementation and a res responsibility to be taken away from the local authorities? For some unexplained reason, there has been a uh, continuous underspend across the traveller accommodation programme, as in funds allocated were not drawn down. For example, uh, the underspend was 40 million between 2014 and 2018. So there appears to be significant funding available, but its implementation seems to be an issue. Also, as a travelling community is such a significant grouping, is there not within the ranks of, with some guidance, the possibility of Angarda Shikana uh, recruiting some person from the travelling community uh, sector? They could become a liaison officer within the force, as the, the case is with other groupings and ethnic minorities. This would help in all aspects. Um, myself, I grew up on a family farm in County Limerick, and I had the, um, my father was a lot older than me, and he was born in 1911. And the stories my father told me of the travelling community and this is going back to the culture of the first traveling communities that, that, that I was told stories, was the, the finest trades persons, tinsmiths in, in, in the country. And they used to come to the farm uh, maybe twice a year, and they used to repair whatever repairs my father would have. But that culture uh, changes throughout the years, like all our own cultures have changed. And every different culture grows. There is some fantastic traveling community families in this country, and I personally know them, and I'm, I have good friends with, with a lot of them, and a lot of them are still tradespeople. One of them plastered even walls in my own house um, a number of years ago, and the finest tradespeople they are. But like all other um, nationalities and groupings within, within Ireland, within our own um, groupings, there is a minority of all people, and we have seen how minorities seem to get all the press and all the bad news. We have seen in Carmines where a family, the tragedy that happened there. No family should have to go through that. If the local authority can't do that job, let's take the responsibility away from them and set up an organisation that can implement people there should be no one homeless. There should be no one living in a caravan now. Um, 2021, and we have people homeless, we have people living in caravans, and people living in mobile homes. All our cultures have to change. And with all respect to everyone, we need to change with that and understand all the different cultures. I'm into vintage myself, and I love our history and I love our culture, and I have to move with that. But it's about time that we all work together to get a solution to this and make sure the likes of the underspend that has been happening to date does not happen going forward. Everyone deserves to have a roof over their head and to have their life and live and, and build from that. But also, people have to be respectful. And this comes from all walk of life. Everyone needs to be respectful and stop painting a picture of a minority of people that cause problems. And let's look at the bigger picture of the people that actually contribute to our society. Thank you.